everywhere I go is you are the dog whisperer and I love you in South Park episode. <laughs> hey guys, right now I'm in Germany. Today, um, we are about to go back in time. Flashback. So this cartoon has a lot of bad words. I'm a big fan of uh, Oprah. I'm a big fan of uh, Tom Cruise. And they went after them. As a dad, uh, I was excited to tell the kids that I was going to be a cartoon. Guess what, guys? I'm going to be a cartoon. And obviously, I wasn't telling them, you know, that I was nervous about it. They did an incredible job of like representing exactly, exactly what I, what I do. It's from hell. It's from hell. Please come <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking at the child, I'm not acknowledging the child, I'm just See, letting the child I'm not know ignoring I'm not the child. Not interested in me. The beer is perfect. Don't look the at the hair child, is perfect. Let, let him know we are having a conversation. Dog the clothes that I'm wearing is exactly what I used to wear. A, a blue, a, 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 a navy blue uh, button down and a khaki band. <laughs> getting the child some exercise. He's fat and he has all this pent up energy that we need to let him burn off. Do you take walks with your son? Well, no, I don't. You know, and the part, the thing is, they also capture the the part where as soon as I walk into the house with dog, you know, with pet parents, uh, I go into action because if the dog is at a high level of excitement, you have to do something with that energy right away. You can't sit down right away. Um, and, and so they capture that, you know, somebody watched me uh, doing my consultations on Dog Whisper and they saw how I approached the situation, you know, it's just, it, it, the dog doesn't know it's a TV show. Uh, the dog doesn't, you know, what he knows is, as a new human, what is he going to do? Is he going to enable by waiting? Or is he going to empower me by acting? You know, acting up, like moving forward. In most dogs, you know, that I work with, they, they need to walk, they need to run, they need to swim, they need to rollerblade, they need to go into a bike, they need to, to experience something completely different right from the beginning. And that's exactly what they did with, with, uh, with Carmen, right? As soon as I walk into the door, I practice avoidance and then I start, you know, decreasing the energy because Carmen was absolutely disrespectful. Don't look at him, just look straight ahead and he'll run out of energy soon. Don't look at it. Everybody, watch every episode that I do. See me live anywhere I go. And they have a leash on their dog, right? So they put a leash as a man law. And and so when they when 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 the dog is in front, they're looking at it because it's in front. But when the dog is right next to them, they're supposed to walk forward and the dog's supposed to follow them. But people have a tendency to look at the dog when the dog is right next to them. It's when the dog is at, 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 at your most safe, at your most attentive, and, and the leash is short. So the dog is going to go wherever that leash moves. So if you grab a bag and you move, that bag goes wherever you go. So the dog is the same, right? Because it's the same action. And she, and she is definitely looking at Carmen with the eyes like that. And I said, don't look at it because that enables... That, that enables the behavior that the dog is waiting for the human to get an eye contact so he can manipulate the, uh, the uh, pet owner. And in this case, Carmen wanted to manipulate his mom tremendously. And, the, and you see the same concern, you know, that all the people hold their shoulders close to their um, cheeks and their eyes get really big. And then they start looking at their dogs like this. Is my dog, is he okay? Is my dog, is he? I understand that they, in their mind, they what they want to do is is the dog okay but if you think about it it's impossible for you to be empowering when you're not feeling certain when you're not feeling calm confident All right so at that moment she it would be ideal for her to join me in the calm confident but she's never gave leadership to carmen that's why carmen's in control right that's what dogs become in control that's they become their the king of the house and this kid is becoming the king of south park <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so when you see, uh, uh, every time you make a shift in someone's mind, in that mind is so used to control, and you're telling them to go from fight, flight, avoid, and surrender, the sounds that you're hearing from Carmen is the same thing that you're gonna hear sounds from another species. So what I'm doing is I'm letting them vent and letting them let it out. Pay no mind, pay no attention to that moment. What you're saying by ignoring that, you're not saying you don't care. What you're saying is that's not the way I want to communicate and that's not the way uh, um, I want, I, I, I don't want you to feel that way. But the only way we can, we can actually help you get to the next, to the other side is by you going through that because it's all that toxic, you know what I mean? And, 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 uh, and he's done it before. He's done it. He's done it before. Yeah, he's, you know. <laughs> when, when, when Carmen's mom um, did that first, everybody went crazy because she's finally imitating. She's finally uh, taking the step of like snapping him out of it and taking control of the situation, of course. Run in packs and one dog is always dominant, the pack leader. All right, so pack means family, family means pack. Uh, we know our parents should be our pack leaders, you know? We know our elders should be our pack leaders because, you know, a, a lot of people don't want to practice leadership with children or with uh, a dog, you know? And that's, that's the main reason a dog takes over that position and that's the main reason a, a child takes over that position. That's why Super Nanny 9911 existed. That's why Dog Whisper existed. So what they have in common is two ladies from England and one guy from Mexico telling people in America, yes, uh, you just have to take the leadership back. But at the end of the day, it was about exercise, discipline, affection. It was about leadership, direction, protection, love. It was about trust, respect, and love. You know, let's all live in the moment. So that's spirituality. Let's have a passion for a family, you know. <laughs> he hates it. He hates it. God damn, stop ignoring me. He's like, he can't take it. We're not doing anything. That's the, that was worse for him, you know, to be ignored than actually the touch. And the touch was like, you know, that was driving him crazy, which is part of the strategy, right? It's part of the strategy because every, yeah, that's what people do. They pay attention to negative behavior. What I've done is I've brought over some Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> I'm going to eat first. <laughs> oh my God. I can only imagine what Carmen was going through at that time because he loves, you know, soul food. He loves uh, anything that is a little bit on the, you know, uh, it's just food that is, makes you feel Man, happy, not yeah. necessarily healthy. Mom, and and, uh, and this, this guy is, uh, <clears throat> is definitely like, his eyes water and his mouth couldn't wait to uh, to have a piece of chicken. And but the way he's asking, you know, the way he's asking is it's something that I work with dogs as well because a lot of dogs do the same. You know, people, you want a treat, you want a food, you want a so so dogs just start jumping on people and they have no respect. They, so in, so therefore it's not safe. So you know when it's food time, when it's uh, couch time, when it's bedtime, it's all about safety and respect. But in this case, he is nothing is safe. You know, and, and it's, it's zero respect. So we're going to practice one more uh, exercise of avoidance until Carmen becomes calm, surrender in front of food, which is self-control. <laughs> so the whole point of rolling over is helping Carmen to go into the highest level of resting, almost borderline sleep. That's what I, that's what I do with dogs, and that's what I was doing uh, for for Carmen at this time because he was just becoming absolutely aggressive, you know, because in and angry, and you you heard you heard you heard the. Uh, the, the, the words that he's using to express himself because he's not getting chicken, especially after he said that he was being polite, which is zero, far from being polite. He was just being manipulative. And the mom believed him, you know, because the mom is looking at it from an intellectual point of view. The mom is not feeling Carmen. 
Hey, Jimmy, you're not gonna believe this, but I ran away from home. I just, I really need the support of my best friend right now. Luke. Who's your best friend? <laughs> you are, Jimmy. We've always been best friends. We know everything about each other. Oh, God. He's a What's hypocrite. What's my last name? God damn it. <laughs> I knew you'd take me in off the streets. But I hate you. <laughs> it's bullcrap! All right, I'm back. Oh, Eric, I'm so happy you're home. Yes, well, hopefully you've learned your lesson. I've come back, but there's going to be some changes around here. Wow. How's the painting going? Oh, God damn it! <laughs> oh, look, it came back. He said he's hungry. What should I do? But because many dogs have not been allowed to explore far and understand that they need the family, people always uh, behave extremely afraid. And so the dog, when he takes off, he, he doesn't know how to come back, and dogs naturally will come back to the den. That's when in, in the cartoon you're seeing it, you're seeing that, uh, oh, he's back. And I knew it. I knew he was going to come back. Where else can he go? Uh, with this kind of energy, you don't, ha you don't develop too many friends. He went to two homes to run away, and as you saw, uh, he didn't had good uh, trust and respect and love with the friends, you know? He was just completely, uh, no, I hate you. So the only one who loves him dearly is his mom. The, uh, the friend, his friends in South Park tolerates him, you know? So I knew by that that he was gonna come back, which is the same thing when you have a, uh, that's why I needed a large place at the ranch. I need a place where the dogs can actually practice, go away from whatever we have them, and and just give them the time, just give them time, give them time so they can process, you know, that they that they need to reconnect to the den and to the family, the pack and the environment, you know, the, we always have to come back home. That's just a nature. It's a nature. It's a nature, especially when nobody did anything bad to you. And in this case, we're not doing anything bad to him. We're just telling him what the rules, the boundaries, the limitations, and be healthy and be fit and be loving and be respectful and be trusting, you know, all good, good moral values, you know, be honest, have integrity, so you can create loyalty. That way, when, if he runs away, then he has friends. In the meantime, I'm telling the mom to, um, to call her so she can focus on something else. Feed it. What the hell is this? Skinless chicken, boiled vegetables, and salad? This is just like Auschwitz. That's it. Finally, finally she did it. She's, she stood up for herself. Eric, I want you to go upstairs and brush your teeth. Then I'll be up to you to explain <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. Who does she think she is telling me to go brush my teeth? I love the bathroom. I love the colors that they use Jesus. in South Park. They're very bright, very What's Mexican. Happened? Guys, listen up. I really need your help this time. I thought about it a lot and I've decided I have to kill my mom. Mm. She's like Hitler with all the demands she makes. <laughs> oh my me. god. Yes, I've lost almost 10 pounds now. You see what I mean? I totally he lost know 10 I'm pounds. He's, 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 he's right, absolutely right. angry about it. He, he, here he comes with his manual way of being. And then all four of you go upstairs to kill my mom. Dude, we are not killing your mom. Well, I can't kill her. I'm too obvious a suspect. Now, when you reach your room, Butters will keep a lookout. While Kenny opens a bedroom door, Kyle puts a pillow over my mom's head and Stan shoots her in the face. I'm not shooting anybody. Okay, fine. Butters, you cover my mom's head with a pillow and Kyle can shoot her in the face. No, Cartman. Oh, well, how about I just do everything? How does that sound? Fine, I'll do it by my <laughs> That's no friend. Bye, Mother. Wait. Maybe. Conscious, good consciousness. Maybe I don't have the right to kill my mom. Yeah. See? Yep. That's what happened in rehab, by the way. This is exactly what happened. This negative uh, thing comes out in so many different forms. And, and then that's what happened too. Yeah, mom, it's okay. It's great fruit and lean hair. Let me t let I'm me just... do one thing. They did such a great job on on everything. Everything is perfection. When a dog is going through letting go, which is quicker than than a human, 
letting go anything that he doesn't doesn't he's not supposed to have inside his body. Uh, they they almost act like an alligator. Ah, or they get a little sick, or they lose weight, or it's a transformation, right? It's the whole point of rehabilitation is to transform your your negative energy into what you're supposed to be with, in, in, in this case, positive energy. And so, and I, and you never know when that moment is going to happen. You never know. You you only you can only do exercise discipline infection, exercise discipline infection. Your your energy have to be calm, confident, love and joy. No one, no one who has negative energy is allowed to be around a dog that I'm working with. No one, okay, no one, no one, no one, no one, no one. So the only one who's allowed to have negative energy is the dog. That's it. But no one around can give affection at the wrong time. He can never miss exercise because this is what's going to help him to let go of the negative energy, which is exactly what Carmen is going through, you know, but he, and the human, the human has to have a, a volunteer uh, reaction or motion to what he needs to do. Like when he went to the bed is he wanted to hurt his mom, but then he realized that that action was wrong. And it's always something good inside of you that blocks you from doing such a negative behavior. So the next day after he threw up and, and got rid of all that negative energy, he made himself breakfast. Studying before school? Well, you told me I had to review my homework before class started. And he's doing homework. Oh, Eric, I'm very proud of you. Okay, Mom, you're embarrassing me. Jeez. You're the best, Caesar. And to show my gratitude, I've got two tickets for you and me to see Madame Butterfly this Friday night. Well, no, my work is done. I've got to get back to Los Angeles. Oh, but I thought we were becoming friends. No, not really. You're just a client. <laughs> <laughs> well, Eric, how would you like to go with me to see Madame Butterfly Friday night? Guys, I told Stan and Kyle we could work on our science project then. Well, what if I took you to Kentucky Fried Chicken afterward? And then we'll go to Target and I'll buy you a Mega Ranger? Could I perhaps have... Two mega pinches? Yes, darling. You can have whatever you want. Unfortunately, that's also real. Uh, a lot of people don't have the stomach and don't have the, uh, the, uh, the discipline, don't have the, um, the heart to do what's best for the pack. And so Carmen went right back <laughs> to be Carmen. But the good thing is, while I was there, he did better. He did his homework. Actually, it's, it's, the, it's the mom who brought him back to his old self. So that's the difference between enabling and empowering. I was empowering her. I was empowering him so they can have a harmonious, balanced life full of love, full of fitness, full of health, you know, full of healthy uh, mental stimulation, that's what the painting is important, that's what music is important, that's what art, you know, anything crafty is important, you know, being creative with, with your mind. Uh, but she couldn't take it. She needed a partner where, where, uh, where she can do whatever she wants. So she pretty much, in a different way, taught Carmen to do whatever he wants. So guys, Matt, Trey, until today, I, I think I'm more famous from the South Park episode, they're from my own show. So, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. If you need have any problem with the real dog, you know where I am. <laughs> guys, thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. And most importantly, thank you for helping me to achieve better humans, better planet. Yes, we can!